Today, we will be taking you through how to access the purchasing and payment forms, as well as demonstrating how to add a form into your cart. As you can see, we're starting on the home shopping dashboard. However, if you navigate to the showcases widget, you'll see that there are a variety of forms that you can select from. For example, let's say that you're looking to purchase an item and we're not able to find it within the hosted or punch out catalogs. Instead, what you would do is submit a purchase request. Let's walk through a purchase request now. As you can see, you'll be met with instructions on how to fill out your purchase request. If you click on next, you'll be able to give your purchase request a name. For today, let's name it Widget Supplies. This will help you find the form in the future if you wanted to look it up or copy it. In the Vendors tab, you'll be able to select a vendor to whom you would like to order. Let's search for the vendor within Broom by Plus. Next, let's move on to Form Fields. Here, you'll get a brief overview of what selections need to be completed. Under the Progress tab, you'll see which areas are complete and which areas are incomplete. This is also indicated by the triangles as well. This means that there are required fields in this section that you must fill out in order to progress. Let's start with the first section, general information. Required fields are noted with a black star, such as the one on this question. Once you have provided an answer to a question with a black star, the field requirements have been satisfied. For example, let's say we're buying widgets. This question is asking what type of commodity we're submitting a purchase request for. Let's select goods. Next, we need to select the funding source. Let's select federal funds. If a deposit or only a portion of a payment is being submitted, indicate the percentage in the next field as a whole number. So if 20% is being asked as a prepayment for a service, place 20 here. For now, we'll leave it blank. Next, we need to indicate whether this purchase request will present a conflict of interest. Let's select no. You can see what conflicts may exist by clicking the tooltip here. Now that we've answered all of the required questions, we can save our progress. Did you see what happened to the sidebar within the purchase request? Additional sections appeared based on your selections. This is Bruin by Plus's way of guiding you through the form process. Answers to your questions may reveal additional sections containing additional questions to help guide you through the process. The goal here is to ask all questions up front so procurement or AP don't have to follow up with you during the review process. This should alleviate some of the back and forth issues we have. We will get to those sections soon. For now, let's move to the line items. Here you can indicate how many lines you'd like to add to your purchase request. Each line will be representative of each item you'd like to buy in your request. When you select the number of lines, additional information will pop up, allowing you to input item description, price, quantity, unit of measure, a service start or end date, if applicable, and whether the item should be taxable. Now that we've entered in our line information, we can continue. Let's move on to those additional sections that popped up based on our initial questions, starting with goods questions. We have some additional questions we are required to complete. As we mentioned before, these questions are designed to create a guided buying experience so you can be prompted to provide required information and documentation that is specific to each purchase request. By answering these questions, you will ensure that your request is accurate clear and as concise as possible. Let's assume these widgets are actually a controlled substance. You can see when I select controlled substances, it brings up some additional questions. I will say, yes, I have a license and provide my license number. Since this is federal funds, the next page has some related questions. I'll keep it simple and indicate this is a grant if you had a more complex federal fund, you may see additional questions depending on your answers here. The review and submit section is our final check to ensure that all the requirements within this form have been satisfied. 
I can add this filled out form to my favorites, which makes it easy to reuse for future orders and only update any information that has changed. We'll cover favorites more in a future video. Or I can add it to my cart now and prepare for checkout. Make sure that your cart is empty before submitting as Broom by Plus won't allow for regular purchases and purchase requests to be part of the same cart. Now let's quickly create a second form. I'll return to the home page and click purchase requests again. Let's skip to the vendor selection and select the same vendor as before. This is the same screen we saw a few minutes ago, but this time we are going to select services as well as non-federal funds and no conflict of interest. We are back to the line screen. We will select one and describe our services. So now we will see a new page called services questions as opposed to the goods questions on our previous form. This page asks questions about the type of service, the service location, to keep it simple, we will select Equipment Maintenance and all work will be performed in California. However, as we saw earlier, additional questions may be displayed depending on how you fill out the form. For example, if you select Covered Services, for this demonstration, we will not be using Covered Services. Similar to how we saw different questions depending on whether we selected goods or services, we also have different questions based on the type of funding. Before we selected federal funds, and now we can see what the non-federal funds questions look like. Since we have selected such an expensive service, we have triggered some additional questions such as source selection. For source selection, let's select professional personal services. This brings up a few new questions, which we will now answer. The next question is not required, but if you have any documentation to support your price reasonableness, you would attach it here. The next screen would ask questions about liability insurance waivers, if applicable, but since our purchase is over 100K, this does not apply. Now, we are back at the review and submit section. So I can add it to my cart now and prepare for checkout. From this point forward, the checkout process is the same as we have seen for shopping from a catalog. Please review our shopping video if you would like to refresh your memory. Thank you for attending this Broom by Plus demonstration and I look forward to sharing more with you in the future.